Bedford hosting Ypsilanti Lincoln, kicking mules looking for their first win of the season. Preston Menard escapes the pressure, finds Griffin Wolf on the wing for three. Bedford with the one point advantage. Second quarter now, Menard continue to get it done, kicking to Leo Wagenhauser in the corner, drains the triple try. It's a four point Bedford lead. Part of a 13-2 kicking mules run. Menard on the fast break, keeps it for the lay-in. Bedford up 10 at the half. Third quarter, more of the same. Andrew Hollinger in the post. Check out the big man's footwork. Bedford leading by 15, but the rail splitters rally. Final minute, Lincoln down just seven. J.J. White hits the three to make it a four-point game. Lincoln would get the ball back with 10 seconds remaining, but they couldn't get a decent look. Menard with the block. Bedford earns the four-point victory. 61-57, Hollinger 20 points in win number one of the year for Bedford. Well, we started doing uh, more warm-ups, more hard, and um, we've just been working hard in practice and trying to have good practices. And We've been a bit working on our defense more because we struggle on offense a lot, so we've been trying to um, just rebound and limit them to one shot. I was so excited. Like We've been working so hard this year, and we finally got a win, which just felt really good. With more on the feel-good win, we turn to Mason Lowry and John Hobbs. Well, you know, getting your first win of the season is always a special thing, but when your first win of the season comes against a team that beat you by almost 30 points the first time you played it back in December, makes it that much sweeter, I'm sure. Yeah, what happens was, is Bedford tonight determined we're not going to lose by 30 on our home floor. And it shows the pride that they have, their coach, their practice, the one 3 one all the things that they've done to make sure that they have their first W tonight against a team that beat them by 30 the first time. That 1-3-1 one, one zone was really, really spectacular in my view. It's not a defense that you see all that often in high school basketball, and I don't think the rail splitters ever found an answer for it. Well, what happens, that 1-3-1, one, one, it took away the slasher because it clogs the paint. It also kept people on the wings to take away the shooter, and they also had a man in the back to constantly touch trailer who's 6-8. It made all the difference in what was going on tonight. And the last thing it does, Mason, it keeps more people around the glass for rebounds. And it, that rebounding is then what keeps the Lincoln team from getting the fast break started because they definitely wanted to play upbeat tonight. How impressed were you with the play of Andrew Hollinger tonight? So good on the glass and a game-high 20 points, too. Let's go, Hollinger. Man, did you tell me that young man absolutely did everything tonight. He rebounded the ball. He dove on the floor. He blocked shots, layups, and I love the spin move. But one thing he did tonight is that he controlled the glass on both ends of the floor. And when you have a team like Lincoln that wants to run the floor, you can't run unless you have the ball. He limited that by absolutely controlling the boards. Way to go tonight, Mr. Hollinger. You've got to think after a really difficult start to the season for Bedford losing their first 10 games, now they've got their first W and a really impressive one at that. It's got to be big for their confidence going forward. And what happens is, is you've got a lot of these players coming back next year. So a lot of times when you have a 0-10 record, the coach is trying to get you to understand, and we keep doing this, doing this, it's going to come. And when it finally does, something goes off in your mind. Now this is contagious, and who knows what this team could do the second half of the season and going into the tournament. Hopefully the light bulb went off for this Bedford team tonight. They get their first win of the season over a really good Ypsilanti-Lincoln team.